Hey guys, Sean here. Um, as you can see, I'm in a different location um, because, as I've probably said in previous videos that I've done or in previous hangouts I've joined, um, I had to move due to. We'll just say I wanted. Let's just say I wanted to move on with my life and I had to move. Okay? We'll just say that. Um, uh, so, first off, um, so yeah, welcome to my new, this is my new apartment, I'm gonna, I'll probably do a, um, like a, for lack of a better phrase, a room tour, I guess, um, eventually down the road, because some of my, uh, nerd pack friends have wanted to see what my new apartment's like, so I'll do, um, a video on that later, um, I went to the store, bought some movies, but this isn't really a DVD collection video, it's just, Thought throw this in so I don't have to do a separate one because it's only one movie. Um, Ghostbusters, you know, one and two, double feature, gives up. I will never buy the shit Busters movie. Ever. Um, so this, but this is not a DVD collection video. I just want to throw it in because it's only one movie. Um, this is going to be my review on Doctor Strange. So, and I've seen this movie twice now. Um, so I'm gonna start with this. It's fucking awesome. Like, literally fucking awesome. Um, some people have compared this movie to Inception because of the effects. I'll say this. This movie did not make my brain hurt. Inception did. Inception made my fucking brain hurt. And I don't think it was because of the effects. I think it was just dealing with dreams and reality. You don't know where, don't exactly know what you're in. So that's my life. But this movie was fucking awesome. Um, great cast, great effects. The score by Michael Giacchino, I think that's how you pronounce his name, was freaking good. Although it, some of it did sound like the new Star Trek music. I'll, I'll say that much. Um, hang on. So let's see. Doctor Strange is a 2016 American... Superhero film featuring the Marvel Comics character of the same name, produ produced by Marvel Studios and distributed by Walt Disney Studios Motion Pictures. It's the 14th film in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, directed by Scott Derrickson, who wrote the film with John Spites, I think, and C. Robert Cargill. Stars Benedict Cumberbatch, Giwalto Ifer. I butcher names, I'm sorry. Rachel McAdams, Benedict Wong, Michael Stolbarg, ben Benjamin Bratt, Scott Ed Ad 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 Adkins, Mar Mads Mikkelsen, and tell this right there. In Dr. Strange, certain Stephen Strange learns the mystical arts from the Ancient One after a career-ending car accident. Okay, so, let's see, this movie premiered November 4, 2016, with a runtime of an hour and 55 minutes, the budget was $165 million, made back, it's made back $492.6 million, sweet, um, so yeah, what do I think of this movie? Like I said, it's fucking awesome. Um, the effects when they do, like, the, the, the I don't want to say mind-bending, but the bending stuff, where they do the bending of buildings, like you've seen in the trailers, great, it's great effects. Um, probably some of the best effects I've probably seen in a film. Um, all the actors are great, uh, especially Cumberbatch. He, basically, when he becomes Doctor Strange, I mean, he is Doctor Strange, but when he becomes the Doctor Strange, like in the comics, you know, with the hair, with his hairstyle and the goatee, he literally looks like I would say leapt off the page. But I've never read a comic book, so he leapt right out of the animated movie. So I'll say that much. Um, Matt Mickelson, he does what he. Um, I, I agree with most people where they say that the Marvel villains haven't been. You know, top notch, but I think it's, I think it's mostly because any villain whose name is not Loki 
has only had one movie. Where Loki had, uh, let's see, Thor, Avengers, and then Dark World. Three movies. I think that's why Loki's came out on top of the best villain. Because he's had more, more time than, than most. Which is, I'm, you know, I understand that. I'm just saying. It's my thought of why. Uh, but yeah, Matt Mickelson, good, good performance. Villain not all that developed, though. Um, Tilda Swinton does a great job as the Ancient One. A lot of people bitch because she's not or Asian or Chinese, whatever she was, whatever the Ancient One's supposed to be. But I think it's more important that they get a good actor, or in this case, actress, rather than try and match the character of the comic book. You know, because a lot of people bitched back in 2003 when they cast um, Michael um, Michael Clark Duncan as the Kingpin, when in the comics, Kingpin's white, not black, but it's more important to get a good a good actor rather than try to match it like the comic. So I think the same thing applies here. So yeah, Tilda's been great performance. Um, Rachel McAdams, she doesn't really get a lot to do in this movie. Um, so, I, so I kind of wish she had more. She had a bigger role in this film. Um, so yeah. Um, Wong, is, Benedict Wong plays a character simply named Wong. I don't know why, but he's basically the librarian of um, the mystical place. I forget what it's called. Uh, I don't uh, um, and then you got Benjamin Bragg, who was in here for like a kind of a cameo, who appears as this guy who was a, basically a former patient who Strange apparently turned down because didn't want to ruin his perfect record. Um, and so he went to the mystical place to try and heal his back. He learned mystic arts, but decided to only use the mystic arts to heal his back. So Strange goes to him to learn about it, and then that's what sends Strange off his journey. Um... See, I really thought this movie was fucking awesome. Even the character Mordo, who's... People have made somewhat of a Green Lantern comparison, so... And this is going to be spoilers. Mordo is basically Doctor Strange's Sinestro. He starts out as the mentor and then becomes the villain. Potentially, I'm guessing, for a sequel. Um, so yeah, I thought this was a great movie. Um, and also a fun fact for people who've seen the movie... The character of Dormammu is actually played by Cumberbatch. Like, the motion capture and the voice. Cumberbatch. That is certainly one batch of cumber. <laughs> um, but yeah. And also, we found our... nothing. We we also get another Infinity Stone in this movie. It's the Time Stone. Which is found within the Ag Agamotta. Or Agamotto, whatever. But yeah, we only have one stone left, and that's a soul stone. Which makes me wonder where I'm having a pair. But we'll find out in the future. So yeah, this is a great movie, had a lot of fun. Um, if I only had if I had any negatives in this movie, it's like I said, the villain wasn't all that I mean, he he thinks he's doing the right thing, but we obviously know it's not because he's, you know, the villain. The way. Um so yeah, villain not fully fleshed out. Um, like I guess I wish Rachel McAdams had more screen time. You know, cause I really liked her. I thought she was thought she gave a good performance and liked her character. Um, and one of my other not this isn't really an issue, but it's kind of a nitpick is I don't really see how this movie feeds into the cinematic universe. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's a great movie. Don't get me wrong, I don't hate the movie. But I don't see how this goes, this fits into the universe. I mean, yeah, they drop the name, they say the Avengers, uh, they say, you know, the Avengers protect the world from physical dangers, we protect them, we protect them from mystical threats, you know, something like that. So they mention the Avengers, they say the Eye of Agamotto is a infinity stone, but other than those two references, I don't see how this fits in. I mean, yeah, in Winter Soldier, they say, it mentions Stephen Strange as a possible threat. Um, so I guess that. Um, but other than that, I just don't really see how it's going to fit in right now. Maybe down the road we'll figure it out. But right now I just don't see. That's probably just me. But yeah, great movie. 
Not a lot of issues. If anything, they're just minor issues. Nothing horrible. Like they don't distract from my enjoyment or anything. And there are two. There's two postcard scenes in this movie. A lot of people in my theater kept getting or walking out of the movie because they're not Marvel fans, man. They just not know about the credit scenes. I know about the credit scenes because I'm I'm a Marvel junkie. But most people do not. And that is fine. But yeah, like I said, a lot of fun. Great movie. Issues don't issues don't drag me down. And that is my cat. <laughs> so yeah, that was my review of Doctor Strange. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um see so yeah, I'll catch you guys later.